and yeah, I think it fit like a small or like, yeah, I just, yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a review on Zoffel.com. I'm pretty sure you guys are familiar with this website because it's probably one of the, like the top three Asian websites out there. I don't know, man. I like always see ads for them or like videos or I don't know. that. I just feel like they're one of the popular ones. So yeah, they contacted me to see if I wanted to review their website. And of course, I had to say yes because I've been curious about them for a long time because I've been hearing about them for a long time. So I was like... Hmm, let me see what they're all about. So yeah, they sent me a few things to review. I have four dresses, two bodysuits, one top, and one jacket. So even though they sent me this stuff to review and this video is in collaboration with them, I'm still gonna be 100% honest with you. If something is whack, I'm gonna tell you, and if something is badass, I'm gonna tell you too, so. Don't worry, I'm not gonna BS you with this stuff. So yeah, if you wanna see what I got and what I think, just keep watching. So if you're not familiar with Zoffo, they are a website that's based in Asia. They have a lot of clothes, shoes, accessories, just like a bunch of things, like a ton of stuff. Like typical websites don't usually have as much stuff as they have. They have pages and pages and pages of so much stuff. Basically everything is like cheap compared to like other regular stores, you know? Sometimes you never know what you're gonna get with these typical Asian websites. like. It can completely look like the picture or it can be like the complete freaking opposite that you're like, what the hell is this, you know? So you just never know what you're going to get. That's why I'm always intrigued by these like websites to do reviews on them because it's like, what's going to come in the mail? Am I going to be like in shock because it's so good or am I going to be in shock because I'm like, what the hell is this? So yeah. So before getting into the clothes, I did want to talk to you a little bit about shipping. Oh my God, it like tripped me out. So I don't remember exactly what day I placed my order, but three days, three Three days after my item was shipped, it got here. I was like, oh, what the hell? They're in Asia. Like in freaking Asia. How the hell did it get here so fast? Even stuff here in the US doesn't get here that fast. That's so why I was like, oh my god, this is so freaking cool. So I had originally ordered, yeah, I ordered eight things. And seven of those things shipped like the first time. So I was just waiting for like the last item. I was like waiting a few days. And like after I was seeing that it wasn't shipping, I waited like a week. I was like, let me give them a week. And after that week, it didn't ship. So I was like, let me hit up the girl and see what's going on. So then she ended up telling me that that item was like sold out. So she let me choose something else. But it kind of like tripped me out that they didn't let me know that it was like out of stock. Like I placed my order. You would think that what I placed my order was like gonna be saved for me you know so that kind of like made me annoyed a little bit because I really wanted it oh my god it was like a bodysuit a striped bodysuit that had like a little bow here oh my god it was so cute but sold out or whatever so I was like okay they're allowing me to choose something else they could have easily been like oh no like since we're out of stock just review what you have but no she was nice enough to let me choose something else so that's when I chose the jacket and then the jacket I think got here maybe I would say like four or five days after it shipped which was not bad at all either because i'm telling you overseas you would think they would take forever and it didn't so the shipping a freaking plus i think it was so good so fast and everything was like shipped nicely they all came in their own little zoffel bag like this little plastic bag and i love when things come like this because you know like your stuff isn't gonna get dusty because it's like secured and it's just i don't know i just love little details like this and i thought it was cool that the bags actually say Zoffo in it so you know they don't mind spending money like it's this type of bag shows that they care about like their company rather than just putting it in any plastic bag you know what i'm saying little details like this are a major a plus in my book so the first thing that i got was this dress this striped dress right here look at how pretty this is stripes are like very trendy right now and i wanted a striped dress and i saw this one and i loved it so it's like a bodycon that has a black red blue and white stripes so the material of this is a ribbed knit and then the edges are finished off with another ribbed material which is cute like this one actually feels like good quality it doesn't look cheapy it doesn't fit cheapy it doesn't like feel cheapy i actually really like this one so i forgot to mention that the size of this was a one size fits all or fits most so it's meant to be worn by people small through large i guess and i do believe it because it does stretch and even though it like stretches to as long as it does it still comes back to its shape you know so that's cool I really, really love this one. I can't wait to wear it. I could either dress it up or dress it down. I'm going to kind of wear it more casual. I want to wear it with like some red sneakers, you know. Oh my god, it's going to be so cute. So here's another dress that I got. This red tank dress that has like buttons down the center. Buttons like this on dresses are super trendy right now as well. 
you see that like a lot like any type of buttons just going straight down so the material on this is a thin ribbed knit this one is not as thick as the one that I just showed you that one I would say is more like a sweater knit and then this one is more like I guess a shirt knit so it's thinner but even though it's thinner I don't feel like it's see-through so this dress has some thick straps on it the straps the the placement of the straps on this one is kind of weird it doesn't lay where like your bra strap should lay so that's kind of like a little off on this one other than that I really like this one I feel like it's a very trendy like silhouette this is so cute I love the way it fits it like fits really nice I feel like the knit is a nice knit doesn't feel cheapy so I'm very very impressed with this one and this one is a size medium I went based off of the size measurements on all of this stuff Pretty much everything that I got I think is a size medium and also because Asian websites come very reduced so you have to be very very careful. Like I didn't even worry about the sizing I just went based off of like what it recommended on there like what it said as the measurements because with those websites you just never know. Like the last review that I did I got a freaking extra large and that thing freaking barely fit me. Don't go based off the size go based off of measurements. So yeah this one was a medium. So the snaps on this dress aren't just for decoration. They actually snap on and off so that's cool so make sure nobody goes up to you and just whoosh, opens you up <laughs> so the next dress that i got was this one right here it's like a little peachy mini dress and the straps are tie straps so you can tie these yourself and then once again buttons straight down the middle and this is another ribbed material exactly like the red one but the content of this is different I'm assuming that other one is cotton because you know cotton is softer and then this one is I think polyester because polyester tends to be shiny so yeah this one for sure is not cotton but yeah like the little detail oh my god I just noticed the buttons have like a little flower detail hold up one button is like totally different than the rest <laughs> what the hell oh my god good thing you can't even tell so this one is in a size small but i feel like i should have gone with the medium because it is a little bit too short like i think when it's on you can't really tell but when you like start doing movements it's definitely way too short like i could lower these straps to make it a little bit longer but then it would look weird here because this one needs to fall like right there you know like right above the chest so if it's lower it won't look as good this one definitely is see-through like you're definitely gonna need to wear some like nude shorts or something under it so this one is kind of like a okay product like it's cute overall but it's too short and a little bit see-through so, yeah. so this last dress is probably the one that everyone is gonna fall in love because everyone on my instagram was asking me about it by the way if you're not following me on instagram follow me at lucykins hit your girl up yeah <laughs> anyways so it's this dress right here this yellow one it's like a floral it's kind of like i don't know what they are daisies with like a blue center i don't know but it's very cute it's a very thin like flowy summery material and then the back is like super cute it has kind of like an open back and then you just tie it in the back like with a bow and then in the front it has like a little gathering at the side this style was very popular in the summer as well like the wrap dresses were used like tie it in the side so yeah this one is so cute i wish i would have gotten this one earlier in the summer but we're going into fall and i guess i could transition it because you know the mustard color i really 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 like this color so yeah this is a very super cute dress the material feels very very nice once again it's constructed very well like you could tell like the quality of it is there my favorite part is definitely the back you have a little peekaboo of some openness you know so this one i actually got a size small good for them on actually sizing it right but yeah it does feel like a small and i think i did good with the sizing so yeah overall love this one now on to some bodysuits so the first bodysuit that i got was this burgundy one right here this one is off the shoulder and it has the same snap buttons as the other one but this one doesn't go all the way down it just kind of goes a little bit the only thing that i really 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 dislike about this one is that it doesn't have a snap button in the bottom so like when you go to use the bathroom you have to get nude i hate that that's what happens when you wear rompers or freaking jumpsuits that's the freaking worst oh my god especially when you're out in public oh hell no that's what the only thing i don't like about it this is also ribbed the same ribbed as that red one so this one is a medium and i'm so freaking glad i didn't get a small because a small would have for sure not fit this one barely fits it's like very body hugging so if i would have gone with the small it's like hell no it would not have fit so definitely keep those measurements those size measurements in mind when selecting this like if you're small go with a medium if you're a medium go with a large and if you're large i don't know if they have a extra large but if they do go with that like size up because this thing is tiny like how the hell is this a medium you know but i love love this one i think it's so cute 
The only downfall is the damn snaps. Like, come on, man, I need my snaps. I need to be able to do my business without taking off my clothes, you know? So yeah. So this next bodysuit is so cute as well. Something's totally different. So it's another ribbed, oh my god, so many ribbed stuff. So this ribbed bodysuit and it has like the tie straps. For some reason I was very intrigued and I like wanted to get stuff that has like the tie fronts here. I don't know, so I got this. The pink dress has that and then something else that I'm going to show you. But for this one I think these little straps look cute. For the pink dress that I showed you, I think it looks cute as well. The next thing that I'm going to show you... Not so good, but yeah. So this one, it has these little thin straps that you tie. It has like a v-neck and the back is like a little U. This one actually has the snaps in the bottom, thank God. So I don't have to get nude when I go to the bathroom. But yeah, I think this one fits very well. It like hugs me and it's just cute. I really, really, really like this one. And I haven't really seen anything like this at the mall, which is why I'm like, hell yeah, this is so cute. Because, you know, I like buying stuff that people don't really have. But yeah, this one, what size it again? So this is a medium. Hell no, this isn't a medium. I feel kind of like this is an extra small. So if you want to get this one, definitely size up because no way this fits like a freaking medium. But yeah, love this one. I think it's so cute, so unique. Oh my God. So the next thing that I got was this like semi-cropped mustard top right here. It's another ribbed material. It has a little like twist design in the front. And then the straps are like tie straps. The only thing is that these straps are like so funny. I don't know, I think it was the way it was sewn that made it like curl up so it doesn't really flow as well as these do. You know how the straps on this one just kind of like falls down and it gives you the little, like the little extra piece? This one doesn't, it like curls up on itself so it doesn't even look like a damn bow, which is like weird, it's, I don't know, it's kind of funny looking. This one's like my least favorite thing out of everything. But yeah, this is a size medium and I think I should have gone with a small because this one isn't as form-fitting. Like, it still fits me, but I wish it would have been like tighter on my body. But other than that, this one is just okay. Like, I love the color. I thought it was going to be my favorite, but it just, I don't feel like it fits the way I wanted it to fit. And then these little straps are a little bit funny. So the last thing that I got was a jacket. This bomber jacket right here. I don't even know if bomber jackets are like still popular, but... I mean, it's gonna get cold and I'm gonna wanna wear a jacket, so here you go. So it's kind of like an olive green. It's like satin material. No design in the front or the back, but the sleeves are quilted, which is so cute. And then the zipper. The inside is green as well. This is actually very good quality for what I thought it was gonna be. I seriously thought it was gonna be cheapy, like those cheapy, super thin, one-layered, like jackets you know those bombers but this thing is actually thick like you could tell i think it has some little like whatever they put in the jackets to make them thicker and then it has actual lining and it doesn't feel like cheapy so this style of bomber jacket was actually a style that h&m had two years ago and i remember this because i really really wanted the mob one and i never got it and i freaking always hated myself for like not buying it because i was so dumb so then once I saw that they had this one, even though this was like so two years ago, I'm like, I wanted it at one point, so why not get it now? So here I am, I got it in green. So this is a size medium, but this freaking medium is like an extra small. I freaking love it, but it's definitely way too tight. I can still wear it. I think I'll wear it like a few times, but the sleeves are definitely like uncomfortable and I can definitely not zip it up because it's way too small and also what I noticed after like handling it the first time that I took it out of the package once you start handling it it like gives you this weird feeling in your hands you get kind of like I don't know not like it's dirty but it just it's as if the satin is transferring something onto your hands that it's just like a weird feeling like I know my hands aren't clean anymore after handling this, so it's kind of weird. The quality is there, the construction is there. I just wish it was my damn size because it's so cute. Oh my god, look. Are bomber jackets going to be popular in the fall? I hope so. <laughs> So that was everything that I got from Zoffo. Oh my god, guys, I was so damn impressed. Like, you have no idea. If you're, like, a subscriber of mine and, like, you've watched my videos before, you know that I've done, like, reviews on different Asian websites. And out of all of them, I can honestly say that Zoffo has been, like, way, way up there compared to the other ones. And I've reviewed Fairy Season, Gamis. Dang, I can't remember. <laughs> what else? <gasps> Rose gal. So yeah, I think those are the only few that I've done. But yeah, out of all of them, this one, oh my god, it like blew me out of the water. And like for sure, I'm gonna like want to shop there now because fast shipping, 
good quality. The stuff actually looks like the damn pictures and they don't put somebody else's model on there, you know? If you're interested, check them out. If not, it's all good. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. Turn on those post notifications because you know YouTube, man, is screwing us all over. <sighs> Your girl needs the views. Come on, man. Like, dude. <laughs> you guys aren't watching my stuff anymore, dude. Like, what's going on? So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.